How's it going? Adam Spisman, SpismanTraining.com, and I'm coming to you on the new and improved Spisman Performance blog on CNYWrestling.com. There's been a little bit of a delay in post of late, and I apologize, but the past couple of months, all my attention has been focused on, on starting my business, getting my gym built out, getting all the equipment necessary, getting people in the door. Now that i got that going on and everything's moving in the right direction, I'm going to begin to, to be able to do a lot of the little, the small things, which is going to be the blog posts and things of that nature. So, right now I just finished building a couple Bulgarian training bags that I'm going to be leaving out at Phoenix Pin to Win Combat Academy. I'm going to be doing some strength and conditioning with a lot of the athletes out there. Great facility if you haven't been out there yet and you want to improve your skill performance on a mat, you have to get there. Coach Bowden and Coach Mills are doing an awesome job. They're getting some great people in there. So that is going to be in Phoenix. I'm kind of waiting right now for the, the collegiate football crew to come in. So I have a little bit of time to kill, just clean the gym up a little bit as well. And I figured what better time to begin the new section of the blog than right now. There's going to be three different things I'm going to be doing three different angles I'm going to be going at with this blog. I'm going to continue to do the writing like I have in the past, covering different topics of interest. I'm going to also be doing video blogs. In the video blogs, I'm going to be breaking down different movements, body alignments in those movements, movement patterns, things of that nature. I'll also kind of show you some behind the scenes footage of what goes down in my little training facility. The other angle I'm going to be approaching would be that kind of what I'm doing right now, which is going to be a Q&A section. This is the section where I will answer any questions for, that you guys have as parents, as coaches, as athletes to help with your performance on a mat. Now, the, the, the first blog post I'm going to be doing here is going to be on Olympic weightlifting, more specifically hand cleans or power cleans. I've been getting a lot of questions lately from parents of athletes as well as coaches about hand cleans and power cleans and incorporating them into my routine. Dating back to USSR where it first became, became very popular with wrestling, cleans have been a staple in most wrestling strength and conditioning programs all the way back to USSR till still recently. Me personally, I do not use any Olympic lifts in my training with any of my athletes. Reason being, my goal and my job is to get my athletes as prepared, strong, athletic, ready for the upcoming season as possible. I'm not, I don't have the privilege of having five, six, seven years straight of working with an athlete. I have five, six, seven months to get the most improvement possible. I'm not going to spend that entire time teaching these athletes movements that are an entire sport in itself. Now, the defense to Olympic lifts is obviously you're building your athleticism, you're building core strength, you're building your stabilizers, explosiveness, flexibility, things of that nature. Those are all true. But the amount of time I'm spending teaching those movements and different movements that I can mimic and are doing very similar things to those hand cleans, but I can teach in half the time, it just, to me, it doesn't weigh out. So, when you look at your, your clean movements, there's six different phases that it's generally broken down into. You have your starting position, you have your first pull, you have your scoop, you have your second pull, followed by the catch, and then the recovery. Now those four middle ones, your first pull, the scoop, second pull, and catch, if you're teaching these Olympic lifts correctly to your athletes, it's going to take anywhere from two to four months just to master those sections before we can blend the entire lift together and begin to see changes and improvement in your explosiveness, athleticism, all the things I mentioned earlier. Now, to me it's not worth it. That coach is in it over here using PVC pipe or a 45 pound bar teaching those movements. I'm going to be on the other side of the gym using very similar movements working triple extension of our hips, building athleticism, things of that nature as well. But they, I can teach those movements very quickly. Five minutes max, certain ones literally a 30 second demonstration and the athlete's going. So, I'll, in one corner I'm, I'm using those techniques building up my athletes. In the other corner they're doing more skilled work teaching 
the cleans and Olympic lifts to their athlete. My athletes, are, they have such a jump start on the Olympic weightlifters that they are never going to catch up. So my goal as a trainer is to get the most improvement as quick as possible. We're trying to be as efficient and effective as possible. Utilizing Olympic lifts, it's not going to be the most efficient way to train. So check out the videos that I'm, I'm kind of going to show you after this pose and I'll break down the body alignment. You can kind of look at them and, and get a feel to the similarities between the body movements of your cleans and some of the movements that I'm going to be performing with my athletes instead. And you're actually going to notice this. A lot of these movements that I'm performing are much more functional than your cleaning movements. So I hope that first blog post was informative for you guys. And like I said, any questions, this blog is here for you guys. So any questions you guys have, drop them below. Email me, call me, hound me down, find me in person. I do not care. Let me know what you want to know to, perf to improve your performance and I will shoot a video just like this and, and show some highlights as well.